are coming into a squat. So there's a lot of squats in here. And at the same time, when we inhale, uh, we're initiating a movement. When we exhale, we're concluding it. So bottom line is it's all about the breath. Now I like to bring one little more dimension into this. So this dimension is all about the internal uh, organs and we do the intestine exercise. So you'll be guided into that. So again, if you're uncomfortable with the intestine exercise while you're doing the exercise, you know, don't sweat it. You know, take everything I say with a little bit of a grain of salt. The most important thing is to make it work for you. So you're not overdoing it. You have a good time. You enjoy your time. There's no pressure on you to get this. I say the same things over and over in every class. So having said that, let's start with three heart opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen, feet are hip width apart. So when you inhale, just give it a nice big stretch through the thighs and stretch, oh, it's a good stretch, and exhale, come on down into a squat. Now very, very slowly come up. So when you inhale, come up, you feel it in your buttocks, and stretch, yeah, and exhale, come on down. Let's do that one more time. And then through the nose, inhale, always inhale through the nose. Now when you exhale, let's just hinge at the hip, lock those knees so you stretch the back of the legs. Let the upper body pull in the back of the legs so we don't curl the back in order to come down lower. It's not about coming down lower and touching your toes. Just the weight of the body is pulling on the back of the legs. Now we're going to add the breath. So through the nose, let's inhale. Now when you exhale, just relax into that stretch for the back of the legs. Oh, two more breaths through the nose. Inhale. And exhale, relax a little bit more deeply into that stretch. One more time, inhale and exhale even more deeply into the stretch. Now, slowly, very slowly, come on up. And exhale, relax and just kind of kick the legs out, shake the arms, shake the shoulders and bobble the head. So Julie, can you put me on speaker view? Or Rich? <laughs> All right, so having said that, um, we're going to uh, just bring your feet about hip width apart and just throw your arms around from side to side. When you do that, push into a hip. And as you push into a hip, <laughs> you're just relaxing the arms, relaxing the shoulders. So Julie, you might need Rich to help you with that. So I see you, Julie, but not uh, Usually I'm, I'm looking at speaker view when I'm uh, doing the class. So we're just going up and down and you push down into a hip. When you push down into a hip, you're opening up the tissue all around the hip area. The arms are relaxed. There you go. You got it. Thank you. And the arms just really relax as you're pushing into a hip. Now we're going to do the same up and down motion, but bring the arms up to shoulder height. So the inside palm goes face down. The outside palm goes face up. And we're just reaching and stretching. I like to begin all my classes like this, to the best of my ability, unless I'm doing a chair type of class. So we do it a little differently. So just reach and stretch. Again, bending the knees so you're pushing down into a hip. Okay, now let's widen the step a little bit and reach up high. Give it a good stretch. I'll go over to the other side and give it a good stretch. Again, stretch and reach, <laughs> other side, stretch and reach. One more time each side, give it a good stretch. And now the other side, give it a good stretch. Now come down. Now let's do a little brainwave vibrations by bouncing the knees and relaxing the shoulders. So just bring a tiny little vibration into the body. It's not large. You're just kind of very quickly bouncing the knees. You let the arms relax for a moment. Let the shoulders relax and they start bouncing up and down. You kind of feel I'm going in and out of the joints, the shoulder joints. This is good for you. This kind of relaxes that tissue in the area. Okay, now let's start shaking the palms, shaking the palms. So we're bouncing the knees and shaking the palms. And shake the palms vigorously with vigor. Okay, now a little wiggle of the hips while we're bouncing the knees, shimmy the shoulders and then bobble ahead so we're all shook up. You got it all going now. And whatever you're doing is fine. Just kind of relaxing, kind of moving around and just letting yourself get loose here. Don't forget to bobble ahead. It's good for the neck. Yeah, relaxes the shoulders more. Move the shoulders around. So you get everything flowing really good. And just a quick little time to this and we're 
for an action. Okay, good. Now let's stop and feel the tingling in your fingers, your palms, your wrists, your forearms. Yeah, it's a nice little tingling sensation. These are the life particles having a good time in your body. They're having a party here because they're so happy for the movement. They really enjoy doing this. So now we're going to start with the balance the plate exercise. This will kind of open up all the joints throughout your body. And when we inhale, we're going to initiate the movement. When we exhale, we're going to conclude it. So balance the plate is a series of circles. Uh, in this one, we're doing two circles and two breaths for each movement or for each, uh, each part, the right side and the left side, and then both sides together. So step forward with your right foot, put both palms out, face up. Take the left palm and put it behind you, face up in your back. If you're more comfortable, you can put it on your hip. I like to put my face up and try to be, be mindful that I need to hold the palm face up. At the same time, I come into a squat and I reach out and extend the arm. So we're gonna do two circles. The first one's gonna be underneath the arm. And, the, and so when we inhale, we're gonna initiate the movement. And when we exhale, we'll be concluding it. And each movement is a circle within this form. So, and when we begin, I want you to inhale. I want you to straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, lift the elbow and shoulder up. So you stretch down through the side, circle the palm underneath the arm. Now when you exhale, push to the side, to the right, and your hip goes to the left. You'll feel a little impact in your hip here. Now, and we come back down into a squat. Now we start the circle again. As you inhale, that initiates the movement. We start straightening the knees as we reach up over the head. It's a stretch through the body. Palm is still face up. Completing the circle as you exhale, the hip goes one way and we crouch and bring the palm back to the start. Let's try that again. So it's through the nose. Let's inhale underneath the arm and exhale, push to the side and stretch. Now gyrate the hip as you inhale, straighten the legs over the head and exhale, come on down. Again, through the nose, inhale underneath the arm and exhale, push to the side. Inhale over the head and exhale, come on down. So we're actually developing a rhythm in the body when we do this. So it's inhale, we rise and exhale, we squat. Inhale, we rise and exhale, we squat. Again, inhale, we rise, straighten the knees and then exhale, we bend the knees. Inhale, we gyrate the hip and straighten the knees. And exhale, we complete the circle as we bend the knees. Again, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling. Last time in silence. And inhale, bring the foot back and exhale, come on down. Shake the arms, shift the shoulders, and bobble ahead. So the whole key is to keep the palm facing the sky. Even when you're going over the head, you're, you're keeping it high. Now, you may not be able to go behind your head like I'm doing, you know, but you might be able to come at least in front of your face a little bit, and you pull the palm back. You feel a little pressure right in the, uh, right in the bend of the wrist. Okay, so let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Step forward with your left foot, put both palms out, come into a squat, put the right palm behind us this time, or on your hip if you're more comfortable, and extend the arm, two circles, two breaths. First circle as you inhale, we initiate the movement, we straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, lift the elbow and shoulder up, bend the wrist, so we circle the palm underneath our armpit, and exhale, we push to the side, the hip goes one way, and that completes circle one, breath one. Number two is over the head. Inhale, we start to gyrate the hip. As you bend the elbow, you come over the head and straighten the knees. As you exhale, you're bending the knees and completing the circle. Try that again. So it's inhale underneath the arm. Exhale, push to the side and stretch, crouch. Inhale, gyrate the hip and rise up over the head, straighten the knees and exhale, bend the knees as you come back down. Nice squat here, so it's inhale, exhale, stretch and reach. Inhale, gyrate the hip, straighten the knees. Exhale, bend the knees, complete the circle. Inhale, underneath the arm, and exhale, push to the side. This is so good for the joints. Inhale, we get every joint rotated when we do this. And exhale, return. 
Again, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling. That's time in silence. Okay, bring the foot back as you inhale and exhale, relax, and just shake it all up, shim the shoulders and bobble the head. So I say the same things over and over in every class. You don't have to remember it. Plus, we have video recordings for you to use. Uh, so you can do this every day of the week. Start your morning with the video, and it's really a great, great practice to begin to. Now, we're going to do both hands together. And uh, this is uh, like the, what we just did. The right and the left side is part of the fourth form. Uh, this both hands together is part of the fifth form that we're going to do a little bit later on. And uh, we're going to add the intestine exercise. So when you inhale, you push the belly out. When you exhale, you tuck the belly in. Let me get a little closer so you can see. So inhale, we push the belly out. And exhale, we tuck the belly in. So inhale, the abdomen's expanding. Exhale, the abdomen's contracting. So we just do this with me for a little bit. Push the belly out and tuck the belly in. So push the belly out and tuck the belly in. So you'll benefit from moving your lower abdomen. So you'll benefit, uh, so doing the intestine exercise can increase your overall energy as a whole. And the movement of the lower abdomen serves to stimulate the cells all throughout this area which in turn helps impact the stimulation of the cells throughout your entire body. So the regular intestine exercise accelerates blood circulation and brings into motion the internal organs. So we're pushing the belly out and tucking the belly in. So the expanding and contracting movement heals and strengthens the large intestine and blood circulation gets more intensive all over the body. And as a result, the body accumulates energy and gets rid of blockages. So the more intensive blood circulation nourishes muscles and other tissues of the abdomen. In turn, this helps your skin become softer and smoother with your face relaxing and becoming more radiant or beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, Let's try it. Let's uh, bring our feet together. So uh, we're going to position for our legs. So we're going to shift our weight over to our left side. We're into a crouch, okay? And when you inhale, we straighten the left leg, take a half step out to the right. When you exhale, we lean over to the right and then just settle in to this uh, right, si right side. Now, we're going to move to the left now. So in order to do that, we straighten the right leg. When you inhale, straighten the right leg. Take a half step to the left. When you exhale, sink and crouch and extend the arms out in front of you. Okay, you try to keep the shoulders over the hips best you can. Try not to curve your back like this, but keep your back straight so you're just sitting straight down and you're going to feel a nice workout in your legs just from doing this. Okay, we're so going to do two circles, two breaths. It's all it is is the right and the left side together that we did earlier. So the first one is you inhale, straighten the knees, push the belly out, lift the elbows and shoulders up, circle the palm underneath the armpit, and exhale, tuck the belly in, and extend straight out to the side. So we're adding the diaphragmatic breathing now, uh, or, or the intestine exercise into the diaphragmatic breathing. So inhale, we push the belly out, lift up, stretch through the abdomen, and exhale, come back down to a crouch as we tuck the belly in. So inhale, abdomen extends, and exhale, abdomen contracts. Then inhale, abdomen extends, and exhale, abdomen contracts. So inhale, we straighten the knees, and exhale, we bend the knees. Inhale, we circle with the palms face up over the head, abdomen is extended, and exhale, we contract the abdomen as we return the palms. So we're always keeping the palms facing the sky. So inhale, we bring the palms in towards the chest, straighten the knees, keep those palms face up as you come underneath the arm, and exhale, just stretch out to the side with the palms face up. Now your arms are twisted, so when you inhale, bring those twisted arms forward, and then lift up and crisscross over the head, Stretch 
and exhale, sink back into a squat as you complete this very large circle. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time in silence. Okay, let's uh, bring our right foot a hand and a half a step. So we lean to the left as you inhale, straighten the left leg, bring the half, right foot in a half step. When you exhale, sink over to the right and squat, I'm just on the right leg. Now when you inhale, we straighten the right leg, bring the left foot in and exhale, sink down into a squat and we're, we're done. So that was the uh, warm up exercise called balance the plate. And if you didn't do anything in this form, a good way to start the day is just to do this in the morning. Uh, do the right, the left, and then both hands together. So let's just try it uh, in, in, in step. And we'll do one time each movement as we go through this, but uh, it's beneficial to do it numerous times before you transition to the other side. But let's just get the flow of this. So inhale, step out to the right, and exhale, settle in. Now two circles, two breaths. The first one's underneath the arm. As you inhale underneath the arm and exhale, push to the side, squat, and then inhale over the head and exhale, come on back down. Now bring this foot back as you inhale, straighten the knee and exhale, bend the knee. Going to the other side, we inhale, straighten the right knee, it's half step to the left and exhale. It's actually 45 degrees out in front of you. Then inhale, come underneath the arm and exhale, push to the side, hip goes one way, inhale, gyrate the hip, and exhale, return, and inhale, bring the foot back, and exhale, sink over to the left, bend the knee, inhale, straighten the left knee, half step to the right, going into the fifth, and exhale, going into both hands together, sink into the right, inhale, straighten the right leg, and exhale, half step to the left, bring both palms out, and tuck the abdomen in. So when you inhale, push the belly out, straighten the knees, come underneath the arms, and exhale, push to the side, second circles over the head. Inhale, come over the head, abdomen extends, and exhale, abdomen contracts. Now let's return our feet. So inhale, straighten the left leg, half step from the right, and exhale, sink down over to the right. Now bring the left foot in as you inhale, and exhale, settle in and bend the knees. Okay, that was the intestine exercise. So it's actually the sixth form that we do in the form where our entire focus is on the intestine exercise. So I'm just asking you to bring this into every exercise you do as we do one through eight. Now this is number six in our, in our, in, in our progression of forms. So when you inhale, you push the belly out and exhale, tuck it in, give it a good squeeze. So again, if you're uncomfortable with the breath or anything, don't worry about it. Eventually, you'll get the hang of it. And uh, it's really difficult to do this intestine exercise uh, and coordinate it with the breath. And it can be a little bit confusing. So don't uh, just give it a little time and you'll start getting the feel of it. And next thing you know, you're going to firm and tone all your uh, core area as well as strengthen all your internal organs. And it's very massaging and very good for your overall system and your overall circulation. So you greatly benefit from moving your lower abdomen in this fashion. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, just do a couple more things here. So I just want you to know that when you're uh, rotating a wrist in all this form, in this fourth and fifth form that we do. So you're always keeping that palm facing the sky. So no matter which hand it is. So with our right hand, you lift the elbow and shoulder up, bend the wrist, circle the palm underneath and push straight out to the side. Then you go over the head. So if you're sitting in a chair, you know, obviously you're not going up and down. It's the same motion, okay? Now, the same thing with our other side, when you come in, lift the elbow and shoulder up, bend the wrist, point to the side and exhale, push straight out to the side. Now go over the head as you inhale and exhale. 
So we've been doing a lot of up and down motions. So let's do the form really quick from beginning to end. Then we'll sit down and relax for a minute and go into a relaxation where I'll, where I'll share a special uh, uh, guided meditation with you. So first, palms in front of the abdomen. Knees are soft. The first form. When you inhale, we straighten the knees, reach out to the side, and exhale, stretch, then roll the palms up as you inhale, palms together, exhale, bend the knees as you pull this energy down below your chin. When you inhale, straighten the knees and stretch, and then exhale, bend the knees and let the palms float down. So let's try that one more time, palms in front of the abdomen. When you inhale, reach out to the side, and exhale, stretch, then inhale, and exhale, hold it here. Then inhale and exhale, hold it here again. Then inhale, reach up, palms together, and exhale, come on down. Then inhale, elbows up, and then exhale, let's come into a squat. Let's try this again one more time. So knees are bent, so when we inhale, reach out to the side, and exhale, stretch, and come down. <laughs> then inhale, roll the palms up, lift up, palms together, and exhale, contract the abdomen all the way to the backbone. Then inhale, push the belly out, and exhale, let the belly come down. I need to do this one more time. So there's one little change I brought into what Julie recommended last week. So when we inhale, we abdomen extends, and exhale, we squat a little bit, and roll the palms up as you inhale, lift up, stretch, and then exhale, bend the knees, contract the abdomen until the fingertips come below the chin. So when we inhale, abdomen extends, elbows up, and then exhale, contract the abdomen as you sink. In the second form, we step off to the right as you inhale, and exhale, settle in. Then inhale, just gyrate the hip, the arm follows the rotation, and exhale, completes. Inhale, bring this foot back, and exhale, return. Other side, inhale, and exhale, settle in. Inhale, gyrate the hip, and exhale, complete the gyration. Then inhale, bring the foot back, and exhale. Third form is carry the ball from the left to the right. We go into position to the right side. As you inhale, bring the ball to the right, and exhale, settle in. Bottom palm is always face up, and we sink in. So when we inhale, Carry this over to the left, straighten the knees, and then exhale, bend the knees as you return the ball. Now lower the ball to the front, and inhale, lower the ball, and exhale, now we're ready to do the other side. So when we inhale, we carry the ball over to the left, and exhale, sink in, bending the squat. Inhale, bring the palm over to the right. As you exhale, we return it back to the left. Then inhale, lower the palms, and exhale, contract the abdomen. Fourth form is balance the plate. As you inhale, step off to the right, and exhale, settle into a squat. So when we inhale, we bring the palm around, straighten the knees, circle the arm, and exhale, push behind us. Now the palms always face up. So inhale underneath the arm, and exhale, point to the front and squat. Inhale back underneath the arm, and exhale. This is just like we did in the warm up. Inhale over the head and exhale, completes that circle. Bring this foot back, straighten the left leg as you inhale and exhale, squat. Other side, inhale, straighten the right leg, step off to the left and exhale, settle in. Palms face up as you inhale, bring this palm around behind, circle the arm all the way around and exhale, push behind you and stretch. Then inhale underneath the arm, stretch and exhale, squat. Inhale, stretch underneath the arm, and exhale, squat to the side. Over the head we go as you inhale, stretch, and exhale, squat. Inhale, bring the foot back, straighten the right leg, and exhale, sink. Fifth form, half step to the right as you inhale, and exhale, sink over to the right, to the left, we inhale and exhale, come on down to a squat. Then inhale, straighten the knees and open the chest. Circle the arms all the way around and exhale, push behind you and tuck the belly in. Then inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arms. Exhale, push to the front, tuck the belly in. Inhale, underneath the abdomen and exhale, push to the side. Inhale, abdomen extends, crisscross over the head. 
and exhale, bend the knees as you return. Bring these feet back, start with the right foot. Inhale, straighten the left leg, half step from the right. Exhale, contract the abdomen, sink over to the right, straighten the right leg and inhale, bring the left foot in and exhale, sink into a squat. Creating a brighter world, the intestine exercise, thumbs on the belly button. When you inhale, push the belly out and exhale, tuck the belly in. Seventh form, looks, dragon looks up to the sky. As you inhale, straighten the knees, let the palms float up high, pinch the first three fingers. When you exhale, bend the knees and put the knuckles to your kidneys. So when you inhale, straighten the knees, drag the knuckles into the armpits, and exhale, tuck the belly in and come into a squat. And inhale, abdomen extends, squeeze the shoulder blades, straighten the knees, stretch, and then exhale, tuck the belly in and come into a squat. Eighth uh, and final form, raising the power. So when we inhale, we straighten the knees, gather earth's energy into our palms, pull it into our body. As you exhale, push it down and condense it into our lower abdomen, two inches below the belly button, two inches deep. That is our second chakra. Then to conclude, we inhale, straighten the knees. When we exhale, we bow to stretch the back of our legs, acknowledging this wonderful positive energy that's inside of us and all around us with every breath. One more time we breathe as you inhale, big long inhale, and exhale, just relax a little more deeply for that stretch in the back of the legs. Now, when we inhale very slowly, come on up, feel it in your buttocks, go slow. Yeah, <laughs> and exhale, gotta take the lock out of the knees and just relax here. So the shoulders are over the hips, the knees, the hips are over the knees, the knees are over the ankles. We're looking down to the earth and it's just a quick little silent meditation. When you're doing this on your own, you can just stand here as long as you want and just enjoy this moment in time. You enter a moment in time where there is no time. You don't need any time while you're here. Okay. <laughs> Sit down for a minute, sit uh, with me, have a sip of water. And I'd like to introduce you to uh, a nice little guided meditation. I want you to relax and just really get into the moment here. So salute, first of all. So now, as you're sitting, I'm just gonna play the music very, very low behind us. It won't be too loud, but I want you to focus more on just allowing yourself to completely and deeply relax. Just allow yourself to completely let go and relax. So we'll be here for about three minutes. So, As you're relaxing, bring your mind's awareness into your breathing so that when you inhale, you can feel the body expand. When you exhale, you can feel the body completely and deeply relaxing as if you're melting, dissolving into the earth. So close your eyes and use your mind's eye to imagine light particles of healing energy. They're all around you. When you inhale, soften the top of your head to open your crown chakra. Then draw the light particles of healing energy through your face, your neck, your chest, and solar plexus. And let it accumulate into your second chakra, two inches below the belly button and two inches deep. When you exhale, just feel your body completely relax as if it's melting, dissolving into the earth. Then feel Earth's energy rising through your body. Earth's energy is the same energy that grows the plants, trees, and all living things. Light particles are energy. Energy has no time or physical restraints. It just is. When you draw the light particles into your body, you have angels carrying tiny brooms, dustpans, and mops, waiting to gather this energy. 
They also carry a knapsack on their back to store the life particles they pile into their knapsack. These tiny angels flow throughout your body, depositing a life particle within each cell. The life particle radiates through your body collectively with myriads of cells shining together, creating an aura of energy around your body. Your energy body is more extensive than your physical body. You're like a bright shining star, shining brightly throughout the universe. Your mind's eye visualizes your body shining brightly, radiating and filled with light. Light chases away the darkness, which cannot stand in the presence of light. Darkness is illness and disease. Your bright light eradicates the darkness, allowing your body restoration to its state of perfect health. And you are perfect in every way. While each breath or with each breath, your whole body draws in this powerful energy, the oxygen molecule filled with the light particle. The light particles enter your cells and remove the darkness, which you exhale in the form of carbon dioxide. And now I invite you to open your eyes. Let's clasp our hands in front of our abdomen. So when we inhale, bring the clasped hands up to our chest. Roll them forward as you exhale, extend the arms into a stretch. Then inhale and exhale a little more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale, lift the palms up. When we exhale, look up to stretch. One more breath. Inhale, stretch a little more deeply and exhale, lower the palms down to your lap. Now you can take your right hand to the left knee or you can cross your arms. We're going to twist the spine. So we're going to look behind us starting to the left. So inhale and exhale, look to the left and stretch. Then inhale, twist a little bit more, and then exhale, come on back to the center. Now let's do the other side. So inhale and exhale into that twist. One more breath. Inhale, twist a little more deeply, and exhale, come on back to the starting position, and just relax the arms. Shake the arms all around, shim the shoulders. I invite you to take another sip of water before we continue again. I'm going to uh, teach this next portion sitting down. Those of you that wish to stand may stand. You make it work for you if you know the form already. Um, just know that when you're inhaling, your body's rising. When you're exhaling, your body, you're squatting. Inhale initiates the movement. Exhale concludes it. It's recommended if you um, stand to do this, but uh, for those of you that need to sit or you're a little tired now, you're welcome to sit because you're going to get a pretty good workout too. So your feet are uh, hip width apart and uh, knees are over the ankles and you're sitting up straight, with the shoulders over the hips. So you're not slouching in the chair like this, you're sitting up straight. So palms are in front, in front of the abdomen. And when you inhale, let's reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. With the arms outstretched, you slowly roll them up as you inhale, lift the palms up, palms together. When you exhale, I want you to tuck the belly in as you pull your fingertips just below the chin. Now when you inhale, push the belly out, stretch through the back, and then exhale, let the palms slow down, tuck the belly in. Second form, we step off to the right. So when we inhale, abdomen extend, step off to the right, and exhale, put the palm down to the inside of your knee. Contract the abdomen. So when you inhale, push the belly out, circle the hip, come around and exhale, return. Bring this foot back as you inhale and exhale. Now the left side. So inhale, bring the left foot up and out and exhale, settle in, tuck the belly in. Inhale, push the belly out as you circle and exhale, tuck the belly in as you complete that circle. Inhale, bring this foot back and exhale, returns. Carry the ball to the right. When you inhale, bring the ball over to the right, bottom palms in front of the bed, lighting your body. 
abdomen is extended, and then exhale, settle in, tuck the belly in. Then inhale, push the belly out as you bring the palms over to the left side. And then exhale, tuck the belly in as you bring it back to the starting position. Then inhale, push the belly out as you lower the palms, and exhale, tuck the belly in. Let's do the left side. Inhale, carry the ball over to the left, this great big ball, and exhale. We use balls so you know your palms are moving the same direction, tuck the belly in. Then inhale, and then exhale, return over the side. Sorry about that. Inhale, lower the palms, and exhale, tuck the belly in. Fourth form is balance the plate exercise. Four breaths, four moves. As you inhale, step off to the right, and exhale, settle in with the palm face up. So when you inhale, bring this palm around behind you, circle the arm, tuck the belly in, and exhale, contract the abdomen. Then inhale, abdomen extends underneath the arm, and exhale, contract the abdomen as you push to the front. Shoulders remain over the hip. Then inhale, come back underneath the arm, abdomen extends, circle the palm, bend the wrist, and exhale, contract the abdomen as you push to the side. Then inhale, abdomen extends as you bring the palm over the head. And exhale, abdomen contracts as you return. Bring this foot back as you inhale, abdomen extends, and exhale, contract the abdomen. Left side, inhale, abdomen extends. Exhale, abdomen contracts. Inhale, extend the abdomen, circle the palm, and exhale, contract the abdomen to push behind you. Inhale, underneath the arm, abdomen extends, and exhale, contract the abdomen. Inhale, abdomen extends, come underneath the arm, and exhale, contract the abdomen. Inhale, over the head, push the belly out, and exhale, contract the abdomen to return. Bring this foot back as you inhale, and exhale. Half step to the right, you inhale, going into the fifth form, and exhale, contract the abdomen. Half step to the left, inhale, and exhale, palms are face up. So when you inhale, open the chest, circle the arms all the way around and exhale, contract the abdomen, stretch. Then inhale, underneath the arm, push the belly up. Exhale, squeeze the belly to the backbone as you extend the arms. Inhale, reverse the circle as you push the belly up underneath the arms and exhale, contract the abdomen as you push to the side and stretch. Bring those arms forward as you inhale, abdomen extends as you crisscross over the head and exhale, abdomen contracts as you return back to your starting position. Half step from the right as you inhale and exhale, tuck the belly in. From the left, inhale, abdomen extends, exhale, abdomen contracts, creating a brighter world. The sixth form is you inhale, push the belly out. Thumbs on the belly button, when you exhale, make a triangle, tuck the belly in. So when we inhale, push the belly out and stretch, and exhale, tuck the belly in, give it a good squeeze. Eighth and final, for, or seventh form, the dragon looks up to the sky. So when we inhale, the palms float up to eye height, pinch the first three fingers, abdomen's extended. When we exhale, contract the abdomen, keep the shoulders over the hips as you reach behind you, put the knuckles to your kidneys. Then inhale, abdomen extends as you bring the knuckles into the armpits, and then exhale, contract the abdomen as you fold the elbows over the fingers. So when you inhale, push the belly out, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then when you exhale, tuck the belly in as you relax down, arms to the side. Eighth and final form, raising the power. When you inhale, you gather the power of the earth, the energy of the earth, draw it up from the earth, pull it into your body. When you exhale, we tuck the belly in and push it into our lower abdomen where we accumulate and store this energy. Then to conclude, we inhale, palms, the prayer posture, abdomen's extended. When we exhale, we bow to acknowledge this wonderful energy contracting the abdomen. One more breath. Inhale, abdomen extends, and then exhale. Just lower yourself a little bit more deeply into that stretch for your lower back at this time. Keep the back straight, though. Then inhale, come on up, and exhale. Lower yourself down. Look down to the earth and just bring your mind into the body for a brief moment in time. And try not to think too much. You might notice a wonderful tingling sensation inside your body right now as every cell is getting washed and rinsed, restoring you to your state of perfect health. And it's in this moment in time that you're absolutely perfect in every way. You just relax the mind. When the mind relaxes, the body relaxes. Okay, having said that, I'm gonna teach the form standing up. This time the, the focus will be on breath only. 
um, my instruction will only be on the breath. So just know that when we inhale, the body expands. When we exhale, the body contracts. Those of you that need to sit, you stay seated. That's okay. And uh, ideally you can stand, but if you can't stand, sitting is just fine. So just make it work for you. In all my classes, that's the way you want to do it. All right, it's all about you. You want to have a good time while you're here and it's okay to just make it work for you. You don't have to kill yourself to get the maximum benefit from this class. Instructions on uh, breath only, palms from the abdomen, knees are soft. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhale. Exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale. Exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, include, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale. Exhale. Just bring your mind into the moment. Okay, we're going to do the form again. This time my instruction is going to be in silence. So I just want you to 
know that I say the same things over and over in every class. If you don't feel like you're kind of getting it and it's hard to follow in silence, just wing your way through it and do what you can. Eventually you'll start picking some of these things up. So this is a nice little uh, uh, way for you to kind of like test your skills as we're progressing as you take these classes every week. Um, I'm working to maybe see if we can't get two classes a weekend. We'll talk about that uh, next month. So in the meantime, let's try it. And again, know that we, when we inhale, we're initiating a movement. When we exhale, we're concluding it. When we inhale, we're rising. When we exhale, we're squatting. When we inhale, the belly comes out. When we exhale, we squeeze the belly to the backbone. Okay, we're adding the intestine exercise to incorporate with a deep diaphragmatic breath. So we do a lot of belly breathing, which brings a lot more oxygen into the lungs. And oxygen is uh, carries the light particle of healing energy that just washes throughout your whole body. So um, palms from the abdomen, knees are soft. Inhale.
What did you do? Did you bring your mind into the body? Feel that wonderful tingling sensation at the end there? It's just a nice way to be. This is so relaxing and so peaceful. So <laughs> I want you to, I want to do, go back to the first form real quick. Um, I'm trying to uh, bring this back into my world, my understanding. Julia brought this up to us last week, and it just makes so much sense. I, and I'm just, I'm not used to doing it, and which means you aren't either. So I want you to bend the knees and put the palms in front of the abdomen. And so when we inhale, let's reach out to the side and exhale, squat. Then inhale, we rise. And exhale, we fall. Inhale, we rise. And exhale, we squat. Let's try that again. Palms in front of the abdomen. Inhale, we rise, and exhale, we squat. Inhale, we rise, and exhale, we squat. Inhale, we rise, and exhale, we squat. So I want to thank you so much for this opportunity to be here with you. I really love being in this moment. I'd rather be here than anywhere else in the world. And uh, if you care to join me for a little chat, let me know. Uh,